Hi, my name is Hisham Wehba. As in the last video, I'm introducing Ibex, a virtual reality desktop for Linux. Now in the last video, I took the video from a distance, so you couldn't get a very close look at what Ibex looked like when you run it on your laptop or desktop or whatever system you choose to run it on. So I'm just going to launch it right now. And as you can see, you get a virtual workspace. The workspace is currently only what you see on your regular monitor, but the hope is that we'll be able to get multiple virtual workspaces up and running. Now, every window is fully interactive. It works just as you would normally use it. All the menus work. You can switch between windows and tabs and games and so on. And on the desktop, 3D even works perfectly. And it's hard to tell from here, but it looks like it's running around 30 frames a second. Now, if you press Control shift y you switch into navigation mode. And what that means is that you can use the, a, S, and, uh, the W and S keys to move forward and backwards, and the A and D keys to strafe left and right. Now, if you use your mouse, you can actually start looking around you. You can look up at the sky or even the grass and basically position yourself for whatever is most comfortable in this 3D world. The hope, of course, is that we'll be able to add other objects to this environment, but for now we're just keeping it simple with individual desktops and so on. Now, in the last video I also demonstrated the iPhone app, so let me just launch that right now. And you can actually get a chance to see what it looks like to rotate the screen. So the Rift supports six degrees of freedom, and this is a basic demonstration of what you would be able to achieve using the iPhone. Now obviously there's no way to perform uh, motion tracking forward, but this is a very quick idea of what it would look like if you were to be wearing the headset and say, look behind you or look up at the sky or look, at, look down at the grass. Now I wish I could show you the OpenGL working here, but unfortunately I'm not using my desktop. So for now, this is a quick demonstration of using the Oculus Rift on a laptop on a virtual machine at 60 frames a second. Thank you very much.